Okay, so this is all about getting a horse to where when you reach, it just comes. And that's for everything at every speed is what you're going for. So you think of it like this. Uh, we don't use our legs or our reins or our spur or our crop or any aid unless it didn't work. Kind of like, you know, the, the when you're doing groundwork, the flag is for when the light thing didn't work. It's kind of the last resort. That's kind of how you think of your legs and your reins and what other aids uh, you might be using. So you see right here, I'm completely in neutral, but you're gonna see me just slightly reach to ask his shoulders to go that way. If they don't, then I'll come in and actually put leg on them or roll my spur on them or something like that. So watch here, just watch this leg and watch my hand. I'm coming out of neutral, I'm coming out of neutral, I'm coming out of neutral, and there, and back to neutral right when it steps. Let's see, maybe come this way just a little bit so you can see my right leg. I'm gonna ask his hip to step to my left or away from the camera, so watch. I'm just gonna reach, I'm gonna put my right butt cheek down in the saddle, and I'm gonna, and there. You notice I didn't really have to push him over with my leg. So you start riding to where you reach, you just reach with one ounce of, of with one ounce. If it doesn't happen within a couple seconds, then you go ahead and come in there with your leg or your rein or smooching or whatever, as if to say, hey, you missed it. Uh, let's see, maybe come around to the side now. Yeah, maybe this side. And uh, we're gonna try to get him to just take one step back when I reach. So see how right here I'm in neutral? I'm about to just sink my tailbone down, just kind of sit down on my pockets and you'll see my you'll see my reins come out of neutral as well but ideally i won't have to pull i will present a feel i will position my body and it will cause him to have an idea the idea that we want him to have is oh i think i'll go back so i'm reaching i'm reaching i'm coming out of neutral i'm coming out of neutral and and there's our step right and then i'm reaching i'm reaching and there now, if he wouldn't have gotten back after another second or two, you would have seen me kind of pick up my rein and maybe bump with my legs. So now we'll really exaggerate it. I'm gonna barely reach to ask him to back up and he missed it. So I'll kind of kind of let him know that, okay? Uh, go forward a little bit here where he's got room. I'm gonna barely ask him to stop. There, good deal. So the stop felt good. Uh, you want it to feel like just as you begin to reach, it happens. Not because you're pushing it, uh, you're, you're pushing them there or pulling them here or whatever, but because they're moving their own feet. So I'm going to put my body in a certain position here, down on my tailbone, and release the tailbone. Into the tailbone, release it. Into the tailbone, release it. Into the tailbone, release it. Into the tailbone, release it into the tailbone release it now we're going to ask his hip to step away from the camera so i'm just going to assume a position i'm going to sink my left hip down onto this back left corner right here so i'm just going to reach with that hip reach with that hip and he missed it i'll put my spur in him there now we're going to try this side maybe he'll beat me to the punch so to speak so I'll watch here i'm just going to reach with my hip right there and there. See, I never actually had to put the leg on. I'm going to just reach and ask his front end to step over here. See, I'll just open that right leg. Now reach there and there goes my front end. So when you just start to reach, it just happens. And that's what you're going for at every speed. So the way you get him doing this, you saw me do it once when I asked him to back up. I'm going to barely reach and sit down a little bit. And then, hey, you missed it. Whoa, whoa. See, they were kind of telling me missed it. Try again. We'll barely go to reach here. Ah. And there you go. That's what you're trying to build. So I'm just going to ask him to dance a little bit here. I'm just going to sink my left, my left, um, or my right hip down. And I'm expecting him to side pass. 
Remember, I can't touch him as long as he's doing it. I can't put my leg on him unless he stops. Now we'll push him the other way. See, he's a little slow, he's a little stuck. I'll put a little leg on him right there. Now take it off. I can't put my leg on him when he's doing it. Right there, he quit me, so I'll put a little leg. Now take it off. Now I'll go back to neutral. There, and he should just stop. Now we'll try taking him the other way. I'll open my left leg, sink down onto my right thigh. See, he's a little stuck. Leg, leg, and we're done. No leg, no leg. See, see there, no leg, no leg, no leg. Look at that. See, it's off of him. You ride it, you push him with your hip. See there, no legs. If he stops, I can put a leg on him. Now we'll go back to neutral. Now we'll go into a reverse. We'll sit down on our tailbone, release. Sit down, hey, you get back, there you go. Now we'll sit, release, 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 sit, release. Right there, he really got with me through a feel there. So remember, we all know that a horse will feel a fly land anywhere on his body. The hard part is beginning to ride your horse like you truly believe that. So every little time you reach, make it mean something. If I just go to reach for that back left corner right there, there, it should move over before I actually have to put a leg on it. If I have to put the leg on it to get that to happen, he missed it, he was being heavy. So starting to ride them like that, they get really in tune with you. It's, it's wonderful, it's really fun too. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can become a Carson James Insider. It's completely free. All the details you need are right here below. So just go to this link to check it out.